Welcome back to Fox 32 Sunday. And uh, joining us now is the uh, legendary uh, longtime radio uh, commentator and uh, political observer, Ro Khan. Uh, you'll also be with us on election night. Yes, it's my Fox great pleasure 32. to be here on election night. And uh, we're, uh, we're delighted to have you. Uh, are, are there any surprises? Are there, are there any uh, things that have struck you that, um, that are going to sneak up on election night and suddenly be a lot more important than people have, uh, have have recognized well I think that the, the one most important one is is uh, mr. Grimm the libertarian because I think that uh, he may be pulling more numbers for there may be some conservatives running for governor running for governor right in the governor's race and he's gotten several hundred thousand dollars from public fr fr from from uh, one of the big uh, labor unions local 150 the operating engineers right and they're doing that it, it, it's clearly Quinn money right that's being sent there to try to lure super conservatives people who are very interested in social issues and gun issues and things like that which of course Ronner is not interested in and has been been very public about that one of the union to, mailings uh, says Chad Grimm is the only candidate who, uh, who is truly pro-life, the only candidate who is truly pro-Second Amendment. Right. And, and, and those are voters that, uh, that Bruce Rauner is trying to, you know, ca counting on, might, might normally vote Republican. Exactly. And so I think what we're going to see here is you're going to see some pull-off of those conservatives downstate. And it's going to be a very interesting thing to watch because I'm not sure in Cook County, DuPage County, Lake County, that there's really going to be that many people who are going to defect, if you will, from Ronner. But I think downstate there could be some. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look uh, on uh, both uh, tonight, by the way, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, we are going to have uh, here at Fox 32 a pre-election special. We uh, hope to have uh, some surprise guests there uh, this evening. We also are going to be paying some attention uh, tonight and on Tuesday night to congressional contests. Uh, there's one in the 11th uh, congressional district that if there were a big Republican year, uh, potentially there could be some surprises out in the western suburbs. Uh, my colleague Alexa Helms uh, talked to uh, Congressman Bill Foster and his challenger, uh, uh, Ms. Sanger. The candidates running for the 11th district congressional seat are each focused on the economy. One of the important things out in the 11th district um, is that is the housing market. Uh, this area suffered very badly in the bust of the housing market. And so a lot of my work on financial services is to make sure that the, the housing recovery um, stabilizes and continues. We've got some really good manufacturers here, Navistar, Caterpillar and the rest, and we have to make sure that they remain viable and healthy. And we need to look at, you know, workers' comp and tort reform, keep this place going again. And that, that'll bring that'll bring people not bring jobs back in Illinois, but it'll also make the whole economy more vibrant. Foster, a Democrat, supports raising the minimum wage to ten dollars and ten cents. The facts are that at the start of this year, thirteen states in our country raised the minimum wage, and those states have seen stronger job growth than the states that did not. Sanger, a Republican, says she's not against raising the minimum wage, but says there's more to be done. We need to get policies in place to make sure uh, that, you know, we have, we create jobs and we have jobs that people have opportunities to grow in. So you don't have to rely on government raising your wage each and every time. And both candidates say they want voters to know that the constituents are their top priority. I've raised my family here, uh, know the area, was a city councilman here, you know, served as a state representative. Um, really love this area and want to make sure that it's represented like it should be in Washington. It's this sort of work directly for your constituents that is really the best thing you can do and the best platform you can run on for re-election. Now, Darlene Sanger and many other Republicans out in the suburbs in particular are counting on the Bruce Rauner multi-million dollar investment in turnout right. uh, to, to deliver a surprise on election night. Well, I think it's really going to be like it always is in Chicago and in Illinois. It's going to be very weather dependent, right? So if you have it, there's supposed, there's supposed to be rain early in the day on Tuesday, at least that's the preliminary forecast. Temps in the 50s then later. Right, and then we'll see if people actually show up after work, before work. I mean, I gotta tell you, turnout has just been abysmal, certainly during the last election cycle, right? It, even in, during a presidential election cycle, it was very, very low. So now, it's- Rauner has 55 local offices across the state, I'm told. The last Republican nominee, Bill Brady, had three, 55 versus three. D do you think that'll make a difference? Well, it certainly couldn't hurt him, right? Because, and, and, and Brady, as we'll recall, I mean, it was, it was really shocking. It's been shockingly close in these gubernatorial races, right? So right. what we're looking at here is really maybe a margin of, of a couple votes 
per precinct that could mean the difference here. It so, absolutely could. Pat it, Quinn got uh, got reelect got elected last time four years ago with 46 percent of the vote. Um, listen, we're going to uh, come back. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll have more with Rokan and look at the 10th congressional district, Fox 32 Sunday.